the education domain along with multiple domains changed drastically its course during the pandemic period whatever type of categories of education that existed before were broadly uh, split into two types one was on site where we have face to face education and online where we can have virtual education pandemic actually moved that line in between and everything was online education suddenly the teachers who were representing uh, various domains were adapting themselves to this online teaching which was kind of forced so a new term was coined called as emergency remote teaching when we were designing this course on learner centric moocs we decided to get some suggestions and comments or observations from the teachers about the emergency remote teaching because it has now become a norm in online teaching in order to do that i have a panel here to discuss about various aspects let me remind you that these teachers are not representing their course or organization however they are representing a larger community of a domain or domains i have vipul mishra representing science and technology i have neelam panchal who will represent the commerce and management domain and i also have mansi kanitkar who would represent the design and humanities domain what we want to talk now is a question that is really useful for all of us and because as teachers we have definitely changed our pattern what were the learnings from this emergency remote teaching which happened during pandemic is that question so let me start with vipul and can you share some of the learnings that were uh, used during the ert so at the time of uh, covid or you can say the pandemic we started using lots of simulations because the practical learning we need to impose some or other way so simulation was one of the easiest way or effective way to understand them the practical things along with that we also try to use animations when we talk about the subjects like maths eventually in the traditional way maths doesn't have lots of animation but we try to incorporate them to keep the interest of the learners into the classroom that help us to enhance the learner engagement and that become a very important tool for us now not only that we also look forward for the diversity of the class because few persons look forward for the more towards the visual side few really like more towards the textual side so we make more diverse class in terms of science side and technology side yes i think uh, the, uh, the two keywords which emerged uh, during ert was learner engagement and addressing diversity because we realize that the moment the learners are not in front of us in our face to face proximity we have to address to their requirements and then therefore the engagement became like one of the priority things uh, how to engage learners in a online mode uh, was it the same in the commerce and management or you had some new challenges there yes sir so uh, one very important thing that we have learned this we need to find out the most effective tools and for that uh, the things like virtual labs or explainer videos and the others we try to look into the another thing is diversity or access and for that uh, needed to open the educational resources like uh, you know in various languages because language cannot be a barrier and uh, another important thing over here is creating a makeshift that is low cost manner that is we we need to look into that the learnings and the teachings that that reach to the audience at the masses with a low cost so that is very important learning to make sure that whatever we want to teach to the students it reaches in a low cost as well as in effective manner that is the best learning that we had yes uh, 
uh, important point made here is about the reach and uh, since all of us agree that commerce is a very large domain by a uh, lot of learners uh, definitely are pursuing commerce education and therefore uh, this domain was worried mostly about the reach and the way they tried to solve it is through having uh, makes it uh, low cost options for reaching out as well as addressing the diversity of languages so that no learner is left out. So, this is an interesting uh, thing and it probably applies also to humanities because that is one more very large domain. But Mansi is also representing design which is not a very large domain but uh, a very interesting domain which will have its own challenges. So, what were some of the learnings from ERT period for you? Right. So, uh, very interestingly pointed out that design is a small domain, but the, the requirements of learning and teaching are different. So, uh, we tried asynchronous chat and uh, we had documented that as well. So, that became a feedback mode for the students as to how they are progressing and how they are, uh, you know, learning. So, that got documented very well because of, uh, uh, in fact, ERT. Otherwise, uh, that would have, that, that documentation would have been lost. Uh, we also sent small videos video clips or reading material to the students uh, in such a way that they can you know learn it at their pace and then uh, the theory part or the the vitality of that learning was actually passed on through lectures uh, so it was a flipped classroom mode and many things got flipped whatever they did during the class got uh, flipped to the homes and vice versa uh, we also curated existing videos rather than reinventing the content um, so that was also easy and uh, we also decided so many Many, I've been discussing this with many other teachers as well. So, we kept engaging students by changing the assignment while keeping the learning goal the same. So, uh, an interesting bunch of learnings because uh, they address again uh, like we can probably categorize. There were technology learnings which were important because technology of using online education had changed and uh, teachers needed adaptation immediately for that. There were pedagogy interventions which were used such as flipped classroom or changing the activities or giving engaging uh, video content in terms of animation or something. And there were uh, uh, more engagement techniques deployed in terms of interaction. So, whether it could be uh, having video uh, interactions or asynchronous chat based interactions. So, all these actually are the interventions which were used. Uh, of course, we all teachers adapted it in phased manner because as we were learning, we were trying to implement it, we were trying to check out whether they are working with us and so on and so forth. However, there are certain interventions which have stayed along even after the pandemic is over and we are back to our classrooms and we can see our learners in front of us we are having face to face sessions now however i can see that there are many such interventions which were carry forwarded so let us now learn from the panelists about what were some of those which have been like stuck with you so is there anything in science and technology yeah, there are many things that we carry forward from the pandemic and we learn from the pandemic. One of the biggest uh, thing, it was the collaborative learning that we have done during the pandemic. So initially when pandemic starts, that uh, learning was one side. Teachers were teaching and students were just listening. Then we thought or we experimented that if we give the chance to learner to teach the teacher, reverse, then it will become more interesting for them. And then we experimented and it went well. So we started collaborative learning, not only in the pandemic, also in the regular classroom. Then training the teachers, that is also important. Whenever new technology coming, how well you are adopting the new technology, that's become very important. And we keep their things with us, I think forever. Yes. So. Uh so, even after we are back to classrooms and we are having people in front of us, uh, the things which have changed uh, or adopted from the ERT period um, were uh, narrated by the, uh, the domain uh, of science and technology. But let us also hear it from commerce and management. 
was there is there anything that still continues uh, to be part of your classroom uh, now after ert is over right sir so even if the ert is over the judicious use of tools to support the learning is very very important and presently when you are talking about the nep 2020 and the implementation of the nep if we all look into then there are various type of courses and the modules that has to be availability and importantly the flexibility in learning is there that is 40 60% if we talk about then students can learn the things through the moocs through the open educational resources like open courseware or learning modules open textbooks or online tutorials digital learning objects so i think what we can do is whatever resources we have developed and we are in the phase of developing definitely that is going to be insightful and with the help of those resources and the availability of those resources which will be very very helpful in this situation and in the future to come also yeah this addition has just enriched the teachers with uh, newer tools and newer uh, techniques and it is it is kind of very interesting to know uh, how different domains have approached the problem and also retained the solutions so uh, uh, is there interesting uh, addition to the list uh, from the domain of design and humanities sure so uh, especially uh, in design um, the learning goals and evaluation has not been as objective uh, so far uh, it it happens in a very intuitive manner so pandemic has given us a uh, an opportunity to start documenting as i earlier pointed out and make the learning more objective and evaluation as well more objective apart from that uh, the use of multimedia resources uh, for uh, even the visual media was limited earlier the use of these tools like uh, uh, the the organic nature of of ideas compiling ideas uh, was uh, not it didn't seem possible earlier but with pandemic and the new tools that are that that are available now it is possible so this whole documentation of uh, multimedia um, uh, that designers work with is uh, is very easier now yes so as we can see that multiple domains have approached the problem in a different manner and retained some of the solutions in order to implement them in the face to face classrooms in online teaching so if we now talk about online teaching post ert we also see a paradigm shift in the approach that the teachers are taking and that is the core of this course where we talk about how these active learning techniques that we all discussed as a major take away from the ert can be introduced in online teaching so that the approach is learner centric so we will discuss multiple techniques in the model that we uh, are presenting in this course about designing learner centric moocs <laughs>